So okay. this is uh, the nation's uh, map. The blue is your sanctuary state, meaning if there are illegal immigrants, that law enforcement cannot exercise any immigration law on them. Here, you could see how the political parties are kind of divided. You know, some states are a little bit purple, some of them are a little bit red. But when you start looking at this map, you start seeing where sanctuary state starts flipping a state from red to blue. Like, and this is for our election, coming up election. This is what we're seeing. The map is literally the same, same way. Now, why is this important? One of the, my concerns is somebody who applies for asylum and they get temporary citizenship. Are they able to vote in their local elections? So if that happens, these people are asylum seekers. And right now we're looking at a 10 year between six to 10 year for them to go through the process. So that means many other elections, including the census. Cause remember census, they don't care yeah. much about, you know, your legal status. All they care is how many people live in that home. So electoral college is going to affect based on population, uh, federal representatives, the same thing. So it, it's a, but it's a trickle effect. Just to clarify, Cam, the trickle effect, go back to that first, that first map, the same, the, the red and blue map was the electoral college map that was on. And it just so happened to almost be the same as the sanctuary states map almost matches exactly to the, to where the red and blue dividing line is now. As more and more of these illegals have more and more rights within each one of these states, the state winds up turning more and more blue. Correct. So each state goes through the same path. They get driving privileges, driver's license, uh, a slack on law and order. And once you start getting that, you start seeing more of the blue state. I'm all for immigration as long as it's legal. So of course, people are going to try to come to, to this country, but are they really here for a say, like true asylum uh, purposes? You know, is your life uh, in danger? Are you here because someone's trying to kill you? You know, those special cases rather than saying, I just want to make a little bit more money than what I was doing in the other country. So in the work that I do, we can help undocumented. There, there are resources, but they do have to meet a criteria. It is so rare that I can make someone, you know, you go wow. through the list, are you an asylum seeker? And um, literally you're hitting none, none, none of those things wow. where you can really assist yes. them because they're not asylum seekers. And I mean, I will go through each one categorically. Have you been trafficked? Have you, you know, each time the answer is no. And so that's what I've seen here. Now I'm not saying that doesn't happen. I'm just saying of the clients that I've attempted to assist and work with under the protocols to be able to help with. Typically, I'm not even seeing asylum seekers.